This is RM1214. We bought the bus last year off some bloke down south. We were too lazy to go pick it up ourselves, so we had it towed here, behind this big thing. We were happy and overjoyed that another bus was joining the fleet, but our tears of joy soon turned to tears of pain when we realised just how much work the bus needed. She had a bouncy back end, who her missus, so we changed the rear shocks. We then fancied a coffee, so we took the bus to Starbucks, but on the way there, the bloody engine blew up, and by the time we got back, the coffee was cold. So why did the engine blow up? Yeah, good question. It's a bit of a long story, but basically two dickheads who didn't know what they were doing tried to fix the engine but cocked it up. If you want to know the full story, watch episodes three and four. But how do we know two dickheads cocked it up? Well, this bloke told us. He knows someone that knows someone that knows the dickheads. Oh, and by the way, this bloke isn't a dickhead. If you know anything about route master maintenance, you'll know who he is. But as for this bloke, yeah, he can be a bit of a dickhead. Anyway, back to the bus. We changed the knackered engine for one of our spare engines, but this engine was not complete, so we had to swap bits. Lots of bits. When the bits were fitted, we painted the engine. We also painted the engine bay, and eventually, we got the new engine running. Tim got wet, very wet, because that bloke who can be a bit of a dickhead was being a dickhead. Then this dickhead came on our TV and told us we couldn't go to work. We said bollocks to that and carried on. The Rexy needed changing, so we took the seats out, but we couldn't decide what to do with the PA system. You said leave it in, so we did. We spent days and days sanding and painting in preparation for the new Rexy. We then discovered the windows were leaking, so we changed the rubber around every single window, all bloody 24 of them. It took weeks. We then built a new blind box, only to discover that the bloke who can be a bit of a dickhead painted some of the beading the wrong colour. What a dickhead. Then the day before we were due to refit the Rexy, this dickhead came on our TV and told us not to go to work again. And at the same time, one of us got COVID, so the rest of us had to self-isolate for 10 days. We then decided we'd better take this pandemic thing more seriously, so work on the bloody bus ground to a halt.